Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the next exciting installment where I fail my way through the Millennium Duel Expert Mode. This time we're taking on Aster Phoenix. Phoenix has his fancy suit and tie, so I figured I would wear a fancy sweater vest for this duel. Um, that's really all I got, so let's do this against the Destiny End deck. I'll probably use some kind of deck. I don't know what, but it'll be a deck, that's for sure. So I figured I would use my Exodia deck against him. I'm not really sure why. I just kind of was like, yeah, let's do Exodia. So he's already fusion summoning something on the first turn. That's really not a good sign. But again, uh, this I really just wanted to like stall him out and hope I get uh, hope for the best of everything. So let's use Upstart Goblin. Draw not a piece of Exodia. That's unfortunate. How about drawing still not a piece of Exodia? That's also unfortunate. What is this? When this card is sent from the field of the graveyard, each player adds one level three or lower normal monster from their deck to their hand. Okay, we'll set you. This does, does this inflict piercing damage? No, it doesn't. Okay, great. Do I get one of the pieces from this? Defense draw. Marshmallow and glasses. That's not a piece of Exodia. That isn't either. I think Defense Draw is going to be my go-to here, because Defense Draw lets me draw something. Activate only during your damage calculation during your opponent's turn. The battle damage you would receive comes zero. Draw one card. Dope. That'll negate an attack once this thing dies. So only have one piece so far, but an alright start to the duel, at least in terms of using an Exodia deck, right? Oh, fuck. That's lame. Alright, this doesn't do piercing damage though, so not the worst thing in the world. You can look through your opponent's deck. He really doesn't have a level 3 or lower card. That's funny. You don't even get a benefit of that. I'm gonna take a piece of Exodia. I guess it really doesn't matter which one I take. <laughs> give me this one. And then the uh, two deep divers will give me uh, two more pieces. I should probably set this for now so I don't take life point damage. But then again, if it does piercing, I'm still gonna take life point damage anyway. Fuck it. For now, we'll do Gallon Duo first. Because Gallon Duo will at least. Yeah, won't die. There we go. And if he doesn't summon anything this turn, then that works out even more in my favor. Pot of Duality would too. Pot of Duality would be nice. Dust Tornado, not really anything I need. Swarm of Locusts is fancy, but also not what I need. Oh, I guess Dust Tornado, because I already have... I don't need Marshmallow, because I already have a card that won't die. Uh, Dust Tornado does the same thing Locust Swarm does, but... Fuck it. I just need to be drawing cards. Every card that's not a piece of Exodia does still get me a step closer to Exodia. Just like Deep Diver dying would be great. No, I'm not going to activate the effect of the card. Does Dust Tornado negate? I don't think it does. Let me read the effect of Dust Tornado. Target. You can destroy that target. Yeah, it doesn't negate. I just need him to not get anything that does piercing damage. Because I'm pretty close to winning this already. Believe it or not, with the two deep divers. I just need to hang on. Still no. Nope. Yes. Fuck it, it's gonna keep asking me to activate that. I have no way of knowing the fuck this is. I don't know what I just destroyed. Something from the dark dimension, I think it was. I think it was returned from the dark dimension. The head will be the next card I draw. Yeah. Burial from a different dimension, okay. Here's three of the pieces. This is gonna be number four. And I just gotta really hope for the, the last piece. Discard, draw two cards. That's unfortunate. He's really keeping up in me with me in terms of, like, drawing cards from his deck, which is really funny. Here's his second card. 
As long as it still doesn't do damage to me, I still have Gallon Duo out. This will probably be something fucking stupid and scary. But again, if it doesn't do piercing, not a concern of mine. And inflict damage to your opponent equal to its attack on the field. Fuck! Oh, we didn't target the other thing, so that's good. Can you do this once per turn? Once per turn, you can target one monster you control controls, destroy that target, and inflict damage. If you cannot conduct your battle phase the turn, you activate this effect during your standby phase if this card is in your graveyard. That's kind of nuts. Okay. Spirit Reaper has a really low attack, so... When this target card is flipped, summon target one. Ooh, that would be an interesting thing to set. I could try that next turn and kill this, although it looks like he can just bring it back, so I don't know if it's that great. It's gonna be bad news if he summons another one. Elemental Hero Prisma! Spirit Reaper will die next turn. This is another piece of Exodia. Thank you. Uh, oh, rough. This is Exodia piece at the bottom of my deck. Give me this then. That'll be next turn. Okay, four of the pieces are here. Spirit Reaper is probably dead next turn. If he activates this as a effect to kill that, but then I can destroy that next turn by using what's his face's effect because he can't do his battle phase now, which is totally fine by me because Spirit Reaper has a really low attack. Upstart Goblin, do you want to give me the last piece of Exodia? No, you gave me Marshmallow, which is respectable, but not what I was asking for. We'll flip summon you. Target you. Activate its effect. Boom. He can still special summon it by banning something, but whatever. That's one less turn that he can special summon it. So maybe it would have been better to just get rid of this. Because this can still do stuff. <sighs> See? It's funny because he's got a really intimidating force on the field, but I have a really intimidating force in my hand. Okay. There's another turn that it won't do any life point damage to me. Rip Swarm of Scarabs. But Marshmallow stands strong. Hey, there goes that fucking last upstart goblin I gave you. Damn it. Not what I needed. Okay, so I've got like one more turn for this to work out. Because Marshmallow dies this turn. He skips his battle phase, but Marshmallow doesn't die here. Oh no, 300 attack? Or 300 life point damage? Fuck! This is a different Exodia bullshit. Cannot be special, be special summoned from your hand by shuffling all monsters in your graveyard into the deck and cannot be special summoned by other ways. When this card declares an attack, send one monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard. This card gains a thousand attack for each normal monster in your graveyard. Okay, so here's the gamble I do with this. This prevents me... Well, no, it really doesn't. Actually. Am I shuffling all monsters? I, if I don't do this, I lose. Actually, I think I still lose either way. Right? Uh, by shuffling all monsters in your graveyard into the deck. It cannot be special summoned by other ways. When this card declares an attack, send one monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard. This card gains a thousand attack for each normal monster in your graveyard. If this face-up card would leave the field, banish it instead. If there are five different... Forbidden one cards in your graveyard that were sent by those cards affect you in the duel. I actually still just lose. Yeah. Unless he, like, does something that... Does something... No, I just still lose. Fuck, man! Close. Had four pieces. Not close enough, though. Starting off with one piece as well, but of course, being the AI, it's got the scripted hand that it always gets first turn, and it's going to summon uh, Destiny and Dragon right off the bat first turn, so that's lovely. I do have one of the pieces of uh, Exodia right now, though, so not a terrible loss. 
Uh, activate Swords of Revealing Light. Set Swarm of Scarabs. Place them in the top of your deck. I really don't want to put trap cards in the top of my deck right now, really. Those aren't doing me any good. Emergency call, bring out whatever the fuck you need. Aster, I'm sure you will. There's Pot of Duality. He's going through his deck faster than I am with this fucking Destiny End deck. And I have an Exodia deck. But mine's like a stall Exodia deck, not like a draw out. You should get Destiny Hero Defender out. There you go. Put Destiny Hero in defense position. Oh, that still works when the card's face down? That's unfortunate. Damn. Okay, so I was really hoping Destiny end here. I should have waited a turn to, uh... Oh, cool. There's one of the pieces. Cool Sargophagus will also give me one of the pieces, but we you know what's better than one giving me one of the pieces is just straight up giving me one of the pieces. That was probably hard to follow. Okay, so I'm at two. Swords of Revealing Light, he still cannot attack. But then again, why am I setting monsters if he still can't attack? He's gonna just destroy them. I'm using Destiny End's effect next turn because the Swords of Revealing Light, I, I just won't play anything. That's one less turn. Uh, this card is destroyed by battle. Yeah, it has to be destroyed by battle. He's not gonna be destroying anything by battle. In fact, Deep Diver's effect might be totally useless to me right now. Fuck you. I wish I had Pot of Duality. Destiny draw, Polymerization. You should get Polymerization and get another Fusion Monster out. That'd be really good. That'd be good for you. I'm sure of it. I'm sure you'd like that. There you go. Set that. Flip. Ah, damn it, that's not Defender. I was really hoping he'd flip Defender. Upstart Goblin, if you wanted to give me another one of the pieces, that'd be dope. No, that is not one of the pieces. So, let's get 1,500 life points out. And then I can activate Defense Draw next turn if he chooses to attack. Which would probably be in his best interest. He probably won't, though. Probably use... Destiny End Heroes Effect. Okay. On the highest attack monster is who I have to activate it on. Which will probably be Destiny End Hero. Or Destiny End Dragon, excuse me. No. I'll do a little bit. This is what I need to activate it on. The battle damage you'd receive becomes zero. Hey, cool, I got one of the pieces. Nice. Oh. I need to draw another piece. Damn it. I got another deep diver. That's not another piece. This will give me another one. But I still lose here. That's unfortunate. That is most unfortunate. Because, yeah, this, even if I live through this turn, which I won't, it would be just a fourth uh, piece. I would be drawing. Fuck. Two pieces in the first turn. That's a good start to this duel. He also has Pot of Duality. That sucks. I'm ready for him to get Destiny and Dragon out in the first turn again. That would be lovely. That's what Aster needs. And what Aster needs, Aster gets because it's the expert mode AI. There you go, ready? Palmer oh, Destiny Draw, never mind. Palmerization. Ooh, we didn't play it. Interesting. That's okay. Mirror Force, nice. Nice. You could give me one of the pieces. Pot of Duality. I'm reaching into the pot. Marshmallow, one of my desired cards. Not necessarily desired in the Exodia deck. Fuck. Okay, Marshmallow's the way to go for now, even though Destiny and Dragon can destroy him. Uh, we'll set Deep Diver. Let's wait on, uh, well... I was gonna say let's wait on Mirror Force, but let's not. Just in case he starts doing some bullshit. 
I want to let Deep Diver just. Yeah, I should have waited on Mirror Force. I almost didn't play it, and that would have been the right call. So now it's dead. Mystic Space Typhoon, 2 OP. He's probably not the person I can beat with this Exodia deck. So I should probably stop using the Exodia deck. Give me the Tease. Ah. Alright, so next turn I'm not going to get anything new in my hand, but because I have Marshmallow, I'll at least save myself from life point damage. Nope, I won't. Just kidding. Because this is Destiny End Dragon, right? No, no, it's not. Elemental Hero Escambaro. Escarado. That looks weird. That doesn't look like a hero to me, but... Suit yourself, Yu-Gi-Oh! artists. Now, you can call that a hero if you wish. Another pot of duality would be nice. Did I enter the password to my own laptop wrong? I did. Thank you for asking. Destiny hero, Diamond Dude. Diamond Dude! Oh, fuck. What the hell is this triple summon sacrifice thing? Dogma. I don't. I didn't read its effect. I didn't get enough time. A marshmallow stands, and that's all that really matters. Deep diver. What? If you control it during your opponent's next standby phase, have your opponent's life points. Nice. Bullshit. Well, hopefully he kills deep diver. This deck is, like, totally luck-based right now. Alright, so this will be the second time I've had four pieces in my hand. Damn it, it was the next card. It was already top deck. I only got a shuffle for the other one to potentially be top deck. King of the Swamp? Uh, Alright. Here's four pieces. I don't need a uh, swarm of scarabs out, but I'll s no, I won't set it. Just in case Marshmallow dies, I still need another monster to put out. In this case, that just means he can't attack anything here. Ooh. I'll gain 1,500. That is 3,400. That is 800. I would still lose life points that by doing that. You don't want to play anything. Nope, you played something. Damn it. God, that's Tornado. At least I don't have to discard any cards yet, but it is unfortunate that that's not the piece of Exodia that I really need. Can I activate this? Oh, it's still my end phase. You fuck. I probably would have just Dust Tornadoed Mystic Space Typhoon anyway, so. He's still going through his deck way faster than I am, and that makes me really mad. And I guess mine's a delay deck, but Magical Mallet. Activate this. Return you. And return you. That's it. That's two more chances to get a piece. Pot of Duality is another chance to get another piece. There's another Pot of Duality, which I might have to grab. Marshmallow. I already have one, though. Fuck. Alright, give me the pot of duality. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I don't need to activate Nightmare's Steel Cage yet, because Marshmallow still hasn't died. Can't activate another pot of duality. Can only activate one per turn. Did these go back to his graveyard, correct? Yeah, okay. I could still lose at any moment, I guess. Nope, just kidding. That's not a piece. How dare you. Here we go. Lend me your energy, YouTube viewer. T oh, there's Gold Sarcophagus. That'll seal the deal if this isn't it. Okay. So, by using Gold Sarcophagus, I now... Two more turns is what I have to live through. During your second standby phase after this card's activation. Where is it? 
Oh my god, it was basically the last card of the deck. But that's okay. Uh, this card remains for two of your opponent's turns. Great. Those are the two standby phases I need. I'm pretty sure. It's kind of weird to activate that, considering Marshmallow can't uh, be destroyed yet, but hey. There's one turn. Ooh. Level limit area B kind of makes it so he can't do a, li a little bit more he can't do. Here we go. I think if he doesn't win this turn, I still, I just win. God, he's got 13 cards left. I could almost win this duel just by drawing him out. This is Destiny and Dragon. No, it's another Dogma. And he's gonna have my life points, I guess, but... It's my second standby phase. Ooh, doesn't kill me, though. Sorry. You lose. You won using the effects of Exodia the Forbidden One! I've done that a couple times before, so I'm not gonna add in the clip, because Konami gets really mad if I add in the uh, Yugi fucking obliterating clip, so... I won't do that again. Sorry, Konami. Let me see, will I get a single Destiny Hero card? Okay, I did get Double Dude, which he didn't use. Zeta... Reticulant. That's totally not how you say that, whatever. And nothing that interests me. That's kind of hot, I guess. Fabled Ganesha. Okay. Alright, you guys. We took down another duelist with the power of Exodia. So thank you guys for watching. Tune in next time as we take on Night Shroud. I remember him being a pain in the ass. Uh, and that was normal mode, so he's probably going to be way worse now. But yeah, thank you for watching. Remember to share and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Those links are in the description below. But above all else, you have a wonderful day, and I will see you around next time in the duel against Nitro. Bye.